Today's video is going to teach you the top five tips to improve overnight in Madden NFL 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and in today's video what we're going to be doing is we're just going to teach you my top five things that you can do today that will make you better for tomorrow in Madden 18. And uh, number five on our list is run one formation. I truly believe this is the most important thing I could really teach you is to keep it simple. That's kind of my tagline. And the reason I say run, run one formation and master it, and when I say run one, you can have a, a red zone formation that you go to, but I really like just running one formation because what it allows me to do is it allows me to simplify my reads, my progressions, all of those things, and it makes it much more efficient and effective because I only have to know two to three plays as opposed to knowing you know several plays. And what you'll find is that most of the plays carry over from formation to formation they're the same routes they're just different formations and I would rather just stay in one formation and work those couple of plays in conjunction with one another and I've always thought that that works best for me um, it's just what I've had the most success with um, number four is read the defense I cannot stress this one enough this is one of the most important things again being able to read the defense is crucial to being successful so you need to pick a formation that helps you do that I like the bunch because I can tell pretty quick if it's man or zone. Like right here, it's zone coverage because that guy on the far left side of the screen is not pressed up against the receiver. So more than likely that's zone coverage. And uh, we're going to go to our zone beater here and, and just work um, the zones. So, but anyways, guys, uh, that's our number four tip. Uh, real quick, before we get to our number three tip, if you're new to the channel, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button because what that's going to do is it's going to give you access to all of my free content. We're going to have free blitz, free blitzes, free defenses, free offenses, free tips, free budget players. Uh, we're going to teach you everything I know about Mutt, everything I know about Madden in general, and everything I know about the Madden franchise mode and the competitive scene as well. So uh, if you guys are interested in stuff like that, then head over to the channel and please hit that subscribe button. But our number three tip on this is to have plays that fit together. Um, this is something that, in my opinion, a lot of people don't understand when I say I want to run one formation. What they hear is I only want to run one play. And what I mean by I want to run one formation is I want to run three to five plays that fit well together. Um, I don't think people put enough put enough uh, weight in that that last phrase, they have to fit together. So I run um, from the bunch wide, at least in this game right here, I'm running verticals, PA post, Z spot, and occasionally I'll run the play, um, I'll run the cross screen, I'll run the uh, outside zone play, and sometimes I'll run the curl flat play. So those are my those are my set plays, and then um, when I go down to the uh, red zone, I like to run the power O from the ace pair flex here. Uh, I'm in the Atlanta Falcons playbook, but you can find this if you're playing Madden 18. You can find this in the Kansas City Chiefs offensive book. So uh, you know I already kind of set up my my playbook for Madden 18. But anyways, guys, so so that's what I'm saying about having a finite number of plays that truly fit well together that can, can go with one another. If you look at it, the PA post, the Z spot, the verticals, they fit really well together, and that's why it works. It's not because Z spot is such a powerful play or PA post is such a powerful play or they're, they're you know their money plays or whatever you want to call it. What it's because is it's because they work well together. So work backwards, figure out what formation am I going to run? How can I find three or five, three to five plays that really complement one another um, together? Okay. Um, the number two tip that I'm going to give you is pass protection. Um, pass protection is crucial. And in Madden 18, it's easier than it ever has been to pick up the blitz. Number one, because blitz is difficult this year, uh, which is a good thing for the offense. The offense is going to have a field day, I think, when it comes to picking up pressure. The only thing that I worry about, though, is once the blitzes get settled in, do we know how to pass protect? Because it's going to be, um, they're going to make some adjustments to the defense. I already know they're going to patch some things. They're going to make zones better. They're probably going to make pressure easier to get uh, as the game goes on. Um, but what you'll find is um, for offense, you've got a couple of tools. And this goes back again to your formation. So the first thing that you have, the most criti critical component of pressure, uh, pr picking up pressure, is the ability to use your uh, running back. So with running backs, what you can do is you can obviously block the running back. But the other thing that you can do that really a lot of people don't think about 
is you can actually place your running back uh, in a blocking assignment and then motion him to the other side of the field or you could actually motion snap him so when he's so if you're in a bunch formation and you motion your running back to the opposite side of the bunch and he goes into uh, like a block as soon as he starts moving if you snap the ball then um, that's going to be a nice little option for you um, that's going to be a nice little option that you can use to then you know have some some plays there for that and that's going to help you pick up the pressure the other thing that I would suggest is running a formation with a tight end on the opposite side of the running back. So that's where bunch week works really well is if you're running the standard bunch, the bunch that uh, I was running last season, uh, what you'll find with that one is that bunch week is really good at picking up pressure because that tight end is in a really good position because he's on the opposite side of the running back. So now you have the ability to pick up the pressure on the left side by blocking the tight end, and you have the ability to pick up the pressure on the right side by blocking the running back. Okay, so that's where you kind of need to think through uh, what mostly people, this is where it comes a, a really critical area for you guys to really think through whenever you're, whenever you're coming, um, whenever you're building your offense is can you, um, can you find a playbook or a formation that you want to run? Okay, so like for me, it's I like the bunch. Of, I like the bunch formations. I always have. But the real big picture with that is what most people will try to do on defense is they will try to set it up to where they can blitz off the right edge and they can blitz off the left edge. And so you need to have an offense that's equipped to stop that. Okay, that's equipped to stop that if needed. Uh, and that's that's a big deal. So when you're putting your offense together, always think about that from a defensive perspective. What is the defense probably going to try to do from the pressure? And then you got the ability to build your offense that can pretty much counter that. Um, and it makes it really, really good, really, really helpful for you. So uh, but that's our number two tip. And then our number one tip in Madden 18 for offense is run post routes. By far our number one tip. Biggest thing I've seen in the in the game so far, the the most important thing I've seen from from my perspective, is run post routes. Um, Z spot is no longer in the bunch week, and a lot of people are upset about that. Let me tell you what the bunch trail, okay, the bunch trail is as good if not better than the Z spot. By, I'm telling you right now, bunch shotgun bunch uh, trail from the. Uh, it's from the Seattle Seahawks playbook. That play right now is, in my opinion, the best play in the game. So the bunch week is still strong. The cool part about that from the Seattle playbook is they have the, the PA post. They have that in there. So you have that option as well um, that you can utilize. So you have so many tools in your toolkit for offense this year. But trust me, you need to have at least one play in your arsenal that has a solid post route that you can use or catch. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. And real quick before we go, uh, what are your tips for the game? What are your thoughts? What do you think of the game? What's new? And real quick, if you're new to the channel, this is your first time watching, then be sure to hit subscribe and introduce yourself in the comments so that I can meet you and we can talk anything Madden and football. Thanks for watching today.